the three healthiest yogurts and ones you should avoid. Did you know that many mainstream yogurts found in your grocery store have more sugar content than a bowl of ice cream? Yeah, true story. And any probiotics in those yogurts are usually not alive by the time it hits the shelves. But you can say yes to yogurt. You just have to know which ones to buy. Here are the four healthiest yogurts to fill your fridge with today. Number one, coconut. Now, not just any coconut yogurt. Thankfully, there are many brand options out there now readily available, such as Harmless, Siggy's, Coco Yoy, the Coconut Cult, etc. Now, the benefits of coconut yogurt is that you're getting actually some coconut meat and you're actually getting MCTs in your coconut yogurt medium chain triglycerides. And if you've read Unlocking the Keto Code, you know that MCTs are one of the best ways to produce ketones in your body and uncouple your mitochondria. But don't be fooled. You want to look for coconut yogurts that have not had any fruit added to them. In a minute, we're going to see a fruit added yogurt and you're going to see the difference. Now, when you're looking at yogurts, first of all, a lot of times, they will add sugars to yogurt, particularly coconut yogurt, because coconut intrinsically doesn't have any sugar. And bacteria, to make the yogurt, have to have sugar to ferment. By law, whatever you start with as the original ingredient has to appear on the label. So, for instance, yogurt that's been fermented, there is actually no residual sugar. The bacteria have eaten it all up. And yet you will see on the label, usually under carbohydrates, that there is carbohydrates. That's because there were some put in for the bacteria to eat. But for instance, in this package, and there's four ounces per serving, that's what most of these are, there's two grams of sugar per serving. That's a half a teaspoon. Contrast that with another coconut yogurt that is key lime flavor. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Oops, there's 23 grams of sugar per serving, and that includes 16 grams of added sugar. That's four teaspoons of added sugar, and actually a total of six teaspoons of sugar. So even though it says coconut yogurt, and Dr. Gundry says, hey, coconut yogurt is a really good thing. If you see a flavoring added, be very wary. Now, there are exceptions to the rule. My second favorite is actually a yogurt called Lava Yogurt, L-A-V-V-A. And I have no affiliation with them. But if you're interested, I've had the founder of Lava Yogurt on my Dr. Gundry podcast, episode 132. Now, this is a unique yogurt that's made with pili nuts. It's made with coconuts and it's made with green plantains and cassava root. And it has guaranteed, by analysis, 50 billion prebiotic bacteria, by analysis, at the end of shelf life, and the shelf life end is put on the label. These guys are fastidious about their yogurt. Now, what's so interesting about that is, that you're getting not only the live probiotics, but you're getting prebiotic fiber that's actually been activated. So the cool thing about this is that even though this is a fruit flavored one, this happens to be mango, uh, this has total sugars of seven grams. That's just about two teaspoons, but there's some with even less. This one is original and it only has seven grams with no added sugar. So you're better off looking for something like lava. The good news is that this is in most Whole food stores. Uh, you can go to their website, Love Lava, with two Vs in both, and find it in your local store. Next up, sheep and goat milk yogurt and kefirs. Here's the deal. Most American yogurts are made from American cows that are Holstein cows or Jersey cows. Holstein cows are completely casein A1 producing cows. Casein A1 is a really nasty lectin-like molecule protein that 
can cause disruption of your gut. It can actually damage your pancreas. And most people who think they're lactose intolerant in my practice are actually casein A1 intolerant, and it's not the lactose that gives them their problems. On the other hand, there are casein A2 animals. Sheep produce casein A2. Goats produce casein A2. And now we're actually finding 100% grass-fed A2 milk products in some of our grocery stores. Now, this particular company I've had on my podcast, it's Alexandre. They're really a cool bunch of farmers. The podcast was podcast episode 176, both YouTube and audio. If you want to hear their amazing efforts in regenerative farming practices, check them out. They've got A2 yogurt. Now, the benefit of these is incredibly low sugar content. For instance, this one, total sugars, two grams. That's a half a teaspoon per serving. Here's kefir or kefir. Total sugars, five grams. That's a little over a teaspoon in an entire cup of this. Here's a goat yogurt. And there's a number of them, capretta. Capra means goat. Um, This one comes from California. Five grams of sugar, just over a teaspoon. And this one, seven grams of sugar. The important thing is most of the sugars in the plain yogurts are actually gone. They've been eaten by the bacteria. So all of these are readily available. There's other brands on the market. Bellwether Farms has an A2 yogurt uh, from American Cows. Um, Search the web. There's a lot of small producers coming out that are well worth your buying. All right. Yogurts to avoid at all costs. Now, I hate to be a Grinch about yogurt. But I want to empower you with the knowledge so you can make the best choices for you and your family. So all regular cow's milk yogurts, please avoid them, including Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt doesn't come from Greece, folks. And some of our most beloved yogurts are made with A1 milk. And they are just absolutely bad for you. Avoid any yogurts with candy in them. Yes, they put candy in yogurts. Avoid any of them that have corn syrup sweeteners. And lastly, if you see anything with added sugars, just put it down. For instance, here's a well-known yogurt maker, and it has got 9 grams of added sugars and a total of 14 grams of sugar in this healthy Greek yogurt vanilla flavor. Let's try blueberry. That's got to be healthy for us. Uh Uh-oh, 9 grams of added sugar. Total sugar is 14. That's over 3 teaspoons of sugar in this little package. 3 teaspoons. And you're feeding this to your kids. How about, oh, this is a good one, Uh, Nusa. Finest yogurt. Finest. One container. There is... 18 grams of added sugar and 32 grams of sugar per serving. That's eight teaspoons of sugar. Now, why are they doing this? Because quite frankly, most people don't like the tangy taste of yogurt. And so they're going to induce you to say, oh, I love yogurt by covering up that tangy taste with sugar. So you're actually having worse than a candy bar and something that's supposedly healthy. Now, suppose you don't like the tangy taste. That's okay. Get any of these. I recommend using allulose as a sweetener in these. Allulose is a relatively new, true sugar that has no calories, becoming increasingly available. It's in some Costco stores. If you don't like allulose, use stevia, use monk fruit, use a combination of those. Or worst case scenario, get yourself a teaspoon of local honey and mix that in. You'll be far better off than taking these lectin bombs, sugar bombs, and feeding it not only to yourself, but most importantly, don't give this to your kids. These are not health foods. These are health foods, and thankfully, they're becoming more and more available. 
yogurt, particularly with certified active cultures, 50 billion active at the time you buy it uh, is the way to go. I have no affiliation with any of these products that I'm showing you today. All right, that's it. Know your yogurts. There are more and more good ones. Unfortunately, there's more and more bad ones and you're being duped every day. Stay away from these. I think you're gonna love this one. Walnuts have the highest plant protein content of all the nut choices. And if you're looking to get plant protein in your diet, look no further than walnuts.